Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you our new product, 7-inch capacitive touch screen DIY kit. And uh, here is a touch screen. You can remove the protective film before you use it. And here is a TP board, TP drive board, and the video board, and keyboard. At the very beginning, you can hook up the keyboard to your uh, video driver board like this. Please make sure the cable is uh, fixed well, okay? And please note the FPC connector. This connector is connect to your uh, screen like this. Uh, please make sure the cable FPC cable is uh, fixed uh, stably, okay? And then you can connect the touch panel driver board to your uh, touch panel cable. And you can hook up the USB cable like this. Please care of the ribbon cable of your TP driver board and you can fix the ribbon cable like this lock lock all right everything is setting up and let's see what's on the driver board here is a power input hdmi vg and rca and also you can support another screen by this interfaces okay and with a stable power supply it will be work properly for uh, 9 to 12 volts okay all right let's power it on and uh, you can change the uh, input source by clicking this button and it will change from HDMI to VGA and RCA input and uh, turn off it. Let's turn it off. First one, I will test on my Raspberry Pi. All you need to do is hooking up the v HDMI cable to your driver board. And to your Raspberry Pi Pi. And then don't forget to hook up the USB cable for the touch panel. It will send signal from your uh, capacitive touch, touch panel to your uh, Raspberry Pi. And let's power it on. And the uh, this two cable has the same function. If your uh, USB cable is broken, you can use a micro USB instead of it. Okay, let's power the screen on. You can see the uh, Raspberry Pi's desktop. And at the same time, you can adjust the uh, OSD menu on your touch screen. Once the input source is available, uh, the OSD menu will be uh, functional, okay? In this OSD menu, you can change your uh, screen's color and uh, the brightness and, and another function, okay? And you can touch the screen. You will find that it's very flexible. Okay, and you don't need to calibrate your touch screen. Okay, and you can uh, select one item to open and close it. It's very flexible. Okay, and also you can change volume by one finger. Oops. 
Let's shut it down. All right. Next one, let's test it on my BeagleBomb Black development board, okay? Due to the macro HDMI port, you need a converter so that your HDMI cable can hook up to your BeagleBomb Black. All right. Let's uh, hooking them on, okay? This is power supply. And let's hook up the uh, USB port for the touch panel. Okay. And hooking up the HDMI cable to your video driver board. And then let's power them on. And uh, it may take a while when you're booting up the uh, BeagleBomb Black because it's very slow uh, during the boot sequence. All right, you will see that the desktop is available, and you you don't need to calibrate your touch screen, and then you will find it it's very exactly uh, flexible all right on the beagle bomb black all right let's turn it off uh, select the menu from the taskbar and select the shutdown yes okay and then Turn off the screen. And also, it uh, supports your uh, laptop, which installed a Windows uh, operating system on it. So, next one is test on my laptop. Okay. And my laptop is pre installed uh, Windows 10 operating system. And this screen is work perfectly on my uh, laptop uh, as a second monitor okay all you need to do is hooking up the HDMI cable and uh, hooking up the USB cable for the touch panel you can uh, control your um, laptop by touching the screen okay your laptop become a mm, whatever some kind of uh, tablet okay let's hook up the USB TP and you don't need to uh, calibration too you can find that uh, it support multi-touch in Windows operating system okay and it's very flexible and if you want you can uh, drag your application to a taskbar like this all right And let's surf the internet. It's also flexible. And also you can zoom in and zoom out with your two fingers. It's very easy to use. Also you can type in the letters on your screen keyboard. Okay, just like a tablet, it's a tablet. And also you can drag it to your taskbar. And it works properly on my Macintosh as well. So 
That's all. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.